Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our educational webinar tonight. This is Margie Alaprandi, and I have with me this evening Greg Horn. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of background, though, in, in these circles. Uh, this man doesn't need much introduction. Um, he began his, his career in the nutritional area at a very young age when he read a book, I'm sure he'll tell you a little of, of his story, that, and, and realized that he developed a, that kind of multiple chemical sensitivities to environmental and household toxins and um, I guess developed a real love for, for nutrition. He went on to become a formulator, he's been a formulator and he's been CEO um, of Garden of Life in, our, in, the health, in the health food space and also um, a formulator and, uh, and uh, CEO of GNC. He has created just a, a ton of amazing products that have changed people's lives and even still he's created over a half dozen product brands that to this day sell over a hundred million dollars annually. So um, he's also the author of a book called Living Well and we are so fortunate to have him uh, as a part of Modere. Um, and tonight we're going to talk about a product called Vital, which I think is an absolute, extra, absolute extraordinary product. And, and as um, I've been able to note the results people receive and my own self, the results I've received with this product, we decided um, that while a lot of people pair this, and, and rightfully so, with the M3, um, amazing weight loss product that that this is also a standalone product and so we're going to speak about vital this evening and Greg thank you so much for being with us welcome thanks Margie uh, as you said I've spent you know my entire professional career has been in the nutrition field from formulating and leading GNC and Garden of Life and several other companies I have spent my whole career learning all I can about the fascinating field of of science-backed nutrition and lifestyle, and how it can improve people's lives and, and their health. And I've, I've even written some books on the topic. So on the screen, you'll see Living Green, which I wrote in 2005 and six. It's about how to avoid toxins and protect your health in a fairly toxic world. Now, if you look in the middle, that's Modere's Live Clean logo and, and its mission and what a fit. So my latest book is Living Well, and it covers the best of what science has to say about how to improve your life in six key areas from eating and moving well to sleeping and staying well. And so my personal mission and my experience are a perfect match with Modere. And uh, I'm also a formulator for the M3 range of products, includes the M3 body system, which is uh, doing very well at Modere, but it also includes the original M3 product, which is Vital, which is what we're going to talk about today. And you know, we'll get to the science in a minute, but let's just start with the benefit. I mean, it's feeling your best for life. That's the goal for everything we do. We try to bring well-researched nutrition solutions to people so that they can look and they can perform and they can feel their best for the long term, for life. So this is the M3 body system and it was conceived and designed as kind of an anti-fad diet, the opposite of the ineffective products you see in the current diet products marketplace. It, it's really different. It's designed based on solid nutritional and behavioral science. It's comprehensive. It's results oriented. It's real people eating real food making real changes but then getting real results and it's a system and so that it's worth repeating that these are systems it's designed for as a comprehensive program it works together the products work together with the lifestyle changes and work together with the amount of time that you you give it which is three months that's how long it takes to to uh, change a habit and it starts with the Mediterranean diet so the Mediterranean diet is the hallmark of both vital and the M3 body system and the reason is that it's the most scientifically validated way of eating in the world. It's been validated with not just anecdotes and not just personal stories, but uh, real science published in journals like Circulation, which found a 50% reduction in cardiovascular events like heart attack and stroke, and more recently the PREDIMED study that just followed almost 7,500 people. And you know, one group was on the Mediterranean diet, one was on a traditional diet, and uh, that found a 30% reduction in cardiovascular events like stroke and heart attack. So, so yeah. this is a diet that's been clinically validated, and it's it's almost a paradox because they still you know drink wine and eat fat and all the things that you think of as being bad, yet it's proven to be a very healthy diet. In fact, 
this Mediterranean region around the Mediterranean Sea is the only place in the world that has two of these blue zones, which is areas where people live an unusually long time in very good health. So one's in Sardinia, Italy, which has the highest rate of centenarians as people 100 years older, older in the world, and less than 10% obesity. And the other is Icaria, Greece, where the people live an average of 8 to 10 years more, longer than we do in America and are two and a half times more likely to live to be age 90. So, so throughout wow. the M3 program, you, you, you adopt this Mediterranean diet program, and that's one of the principles behind it. And what happens when you're done? So you want to lock in success. Um, Vital is a standalone product. It was actually the original product. Um, and you know, so you, if you stay on the M3, a lot of people seeing this will have been on the M3 and had success. And the question is, you know, how do you kind of keep a good thing going? And one of the things that we find when we look at the science behind the Mediterranean diet is that you know these people are eating. This is a paradox. It was, it was called the Mediterranean paradox actually in science. So it's been observed as, as far back as the mid 1800s, where you know, the people in this region eat a high fat diet, they drink plenty of red wine, yet they experience a much lower cardiovascular disease rate and other disease rate than, than people in other parts of the world. So in, in, in fact, the Italians enjoy one of the longest life expectancies and the French and Spaniards are close behind. So how does that work? So, and you know, What's the secret behind such good health and how can a diet loaded with fat and olive oil and wine be healthy and even beneficial? So that's the paradox. That's unraveling that paradox and making these healthful benefits conveniently available for people all over the world has really been the focus of our development work for M3, especially vital. And so you know, the Mediterranean diet has proven to have significant health benefits, but I think scientists would disagree about precisely which elements provide which benefits. So we do know that the Mediterranean diet is loaded with both fiber, which is great for you, uh, and the basis for zinc and plant-based antioxidants. So these are antioxidants that are, have a protective uh, benefit that are in, in the plants that they eat, and they should play a role in, it's in a few of these, bed of these antioxidants have uh, great research on them as individual nutrients. So three of these plant-based antioxidants that are prevalent in the Mediterranean diet stand out. And those are resveratrol from red wine, lycopene from tomatoes, and hydroxytyrosol from uh, olives. And these are natural plant-based antioxidants. You'll see the chemical um, signature of it above here. These are basically fruits and vegetables. So uh, what are antioxidants? Antioxidants uh, can quench or neutralize damaging free radicals. And those are generated by normal metabolism. They can ramp up with exposure to pollution or uh, extra exercise. But the vital components of the Mediterranean diet that are in vital are, are the key plant-based antioxidants from food in that diet. So tomatoes contain lycopene, which is a powerful fat-soluble antioxidant that gives them their deep red color. That's what makes a tomato red. Um, there's a, a resveratrol is in the red wine that characterizes the Mediterranean diet, and it's critically important that the resveratrol is in its transform. There's two forms of resveratrol that are shown here. Only the transform has benefits, so that's what we use in, in vital and it's differently shaped molecule in the cis form. Um, so watch out, uh, make sure you get the right one. And uh, the resveratrol is a water soluble antioxidant. And then of course there are olives, which contain this polyphenol called hydroxytyrosol, which is active in both the fat and the water tissues of the body. So this is the med trio. We call this combination the, the med trio. And uh, they're, it's grounded in very, very solid science. There's over a thousand published studies on hydroxytyrosol. Uh, and actually this olive antioxidant was even used as a marker for the Mediterranean diet study in the famous Predimed study that I mentioned earlier. There's over 10,000 studies published on resveratrol in clinical uh, journals which is in red wine, and over 7,000 studies published on lycopene, which is in red tomatoes. So here's how it works. Uh, simply, resveratrol provides the antioxidant protection in the water-based tissues of your body. So imagine you have parts of your skin or parts of your cells that have their fat basis or oily, and part are water, or water soluble. And so it's, it's active in, in, in the case of resveratrol, in the water soluble uh, components of your body. Lycopene 
provides antioxidant protection in the other tissues of your body, the fatty tissues of your body, such as those that are under your skin or around your organs. And hydroxytyrosol provides general antioxidant protection or universal antioxidant protection. It's one of the rare plant-based antioxidants that is, uh, that is bioavailable in both the water and the, and the fatty tissues of your body. So what's resveratrol? Let's start with that. Um, it's made in wine grapes, it's made in some other plants to help them resist environmental challenges. Uh, it's a key beneficial component of red wine uh, in the form of a supplement. You can get it without the alcohol or the calories, which is a benefit. Uh, it's been studied for its role both as an antioxidant and also as an activator of sirtuins, which are the so-called longevity genes, and that research is early and, and ongoing. So it's long been known that people who drink moderate amounts of red wine regularly, like people in the Mediterranean countries, have a lower incidence of, of cardiovascular events, uh, and it's considered that resveratrol is, is, is often credited for these, uh, for these benefits. In the lab, it reduces the biomarkers of cellular damage uh, and specifically the reaction to free radicals or these oxidative, uh, oxidative species. In the mitochondria, which are the little powerhouses that are packed into every single cell, every cell has a power factory within it. It's called a mitochondria. And that provides our cellular energy that our bodies use. But mitochondria energy levels can decrease as we get older. And this decrease in mitochondrial energy is part of what we think of as aging. Uh, mitochondria are regulated in part by this group of proteins called sirtuins and resveratrol is an activator of human sirtuin genes. So this research being done at some of the best universities in the world, including NIH and Harvard, it's ongoing and it's examining the mechanism between resveratrol and uh, sirtuins in living cells. Sirtuins is what you're saying there, sirtuins, right? Sirtuins, yes. It's a, some of these are tongue twisters, Margie, but <laughs> I know. all the science. Learn, learning new things every day from you. Thank you. <laughs> right. So resveratrol is regularly, you know, you, you, people will read about it, and it's regularly in the news as study comes out, uh, they, they keep coming out regarding its role in health and fitness and longevity. So that's resveratrol, another tongue twister margin. Um, lycopene is a fascinating uh, component of uh, tomatoes. It's a fat-soluble antioxidant, protects fatty tissues, and these fatty tissues are around our organs, they're under our skin. Um, actually, cholesterol in the bloodstream is a type of fat, so it's protective of these essential fats throughout your body. Um, it's a beneficial component of tomatoes. It's what gives them their deep red color, and it's among the most powerful antioxidants of all the carotenoids, which is the class of antioxidants. Carotenoids is what makes carrots orange and what makes tomatoes red. Um, and there's a, there's a strong body of clinical trial evidence that shows a positive relationship between lycopene intake and a healthier uh, cardiovascular system. Lycopene also gets uh, a lot of news covers. Places like like Harvard Medical School uh, cover uh, lycopene, which can be you know gotten in the Mediterranean diet through eating tomatoes. It can also be gotten in uh, in in supplement form. One Is of my favorites. Quick, quick question on that. Is there a reason to believe that if um, if if the tomatoes, if the, the, I guess it actually is a fruit, isn't it? Um, that if it's not ripened enough that you're not getting as much lycopene, just say you're eating tomatoes, right? And, and sometimes they're picked green and then left to ripen. Um, yeah, so it's li lycopene is what makes tomatoes red. So the more red the tomato is a kind of a general marker of how much, um, how much, you know, how rich in okay. lycopene it is. Okay. Actually, That's cooking tomatoes brings out the lycopene, like it actually helps the lycopene in them content concentrates it um, and activates it. So um, yeah, I'm a big fan of tomatoes. I like eating them. I don't get a chance to eat them every single day, but um, you know, the health, the, the health carotenoid inside tomatoes is definitely lycopene. That's what gives them the red uh -huh. color. Great, great. The most intriguing of all three of these to me is actually this hydroxytyrosol. This is a universal uh, antioxidant, meaning it's, it's in, uh, it works in both fat and water soluble tissues of our body. Um, it's, it's the beneficial antioxidant component of olives, and yeah, so it's one of nature's strongest antioxidants. You can see that from this chart. Um, this chart measures ORAC value, which is oxygen radical absorbance capacity. So this is the ability to quench free radicals. It's a scientific measure. And you can see popular antioxidants like vitamin C or alpha folic acid or NADH are you know, way on the left there, the scores of kind of 0.4 to 4. And on the right is hydroxytyrosol, the score of 27. 
and that makes it one of nature's most powerful antioxidants. It's actually 300 times the level found in olive oil. They discovered that the hydroxytarsal is much stronger in the pulp of the olive, and they extract it from the pulp and stabilize it now. And so it's also the, really the only plant phenol that's known to cross the blood-brain barrier, so it can be an antioxidant um, there too. So it's a fascinating uh, natural substance here. And it makes the news all the time. Scientific inquiry into the role of this plant-based antioxidant is unfolding. You know, it turns out that olives, one of man's oldest foods, and it's either the first or the second uh, uh, plant to be domesticated when civilization formed, is also one of our healthiest. So I like kind of that, that closing that loop too. That's um, awesome. So, so if you look, if you if you look at the kind of coverage that um, these studies get. You know, eating Mediterranean way is scientifically validated to improve health based on a lot of clinical research. And of course, you should never substitute news articles for medical advice, but these are recent headlines that follow publication of the PREDIMED study in the New England Journal of Medicine. So this study was touted as one of the most significant done in a generation in terms of potential impact on health. And, you know, I hope you can eat the Mediterranean diet every single day. Uh, Vital was designed to bring together the natural plant-based antioxidants that are present in the Mediterranean diet and make them convenient and easy to use so you never miss a day for every single day use in a, in a capsule. So if you think about getting key antioxidants, resveratrol, found in red wine, lycopene in tomatoes, and, and hydroxytyrosol from all every single day, all in the right ratio, um, you know, Vital is a, an insurance policy that you, if you could just take one supplement to ensure you're getting them and in the Mediterranean diet, uh, you know, Vital's the one. So that's why we developed it. I want to thank you for the chance to talk about it again. Margie, as you know, Vital was actually the original M3 product and by far the best seller for years and years before we developed M3 body system. Um, it's meant to be taken every day and it has a very, very strong loyalty amongst its regular users. Uh, of which I'm one. So it's an honor to be able to share the story of Vital with you today, and I thank you very much. Well, hold tight for just a sec. I might have a question or two. Um, sure. So um, just a couple of points that I, I want to bring out because um, I, I believe it's the C-reactive protein test. Is that is that ringing a bell? Um, uh, just just so people can kind of quantify some of the benefits that they might be getting from Vital with some before and after health markers of their own. Can we talk about that for a minute? Sure, I, I'd love to talk about that. And I always I always encourage people to you know to get their own test done, find out what's working for them. Um, and so if you if, if you've ever heard these terms, silent inflammation, this inflammation that's in your body that that you know antioxidants in general help to fight, the measure that you can test for yourself and have your doctor test is called CRP and there's a specific test called HSCRP, so that's high sensitivity CRP and C-reactive protein is kind of a general marker for inflammation in your body and um, so that's the one to test and you know kind of as a before and after experiment early in the days of, of launching Vital uh, the first, I don't know, several hundred people uh, got a kit where they could test that and then, um, you know, they get their money back if, uh, if it, their markers didn't go down and, and no one got their money back because everybody's markers, you know, moved the right direction. But it's important to, you know, test these things on yourself um, and that is the marker to check. That's a, that's a, a very good marker for checking to see if uh, dietary supplement antioxidants in general and specifically in vital which is these three critical ones from the Mediterranean diet um, are doing anything and you know what we do is all evidence-based and the best type of evidence to see if something is changing your own health markers is to do it on yourself so I, that's what I do myself and I certainly do recommend that for uh, anyone uh, who's who's using the product. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to be careful how I ask these questions also so that we're not making any medical claims here, um, but I uh, appreciate that answer immensely. Um, I, I'm not sure how this may or may not be interrelated, but we've had some before and after testing that indicates a positive relationship between this product and uh, blood sugar levels. And 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 yet I can't, I can't really figure out how to draw that that correlation. Like what what benefits? How could that be benefiting? Is there any 
correlation there? Yeah, so, so um, you know, every, antioxidants are beneficial across a really broad spectrum of biological functions. And, you know, everybody has a different baseline. Everybody has a slightly different, you know, metabolism in terms of how they're processing things or if they have any kind of underlying health conditions. So, so that's why doctors, medical doctors, use uh, blood tests to find out what's going on. And that's why aware uh, dietary supplement users should do the same thing. If you're taking antioxidant and looking for a specific marker uh, to, as, as, a, as a marker for benefit, um, you can test it on yourself. These tests are not, not, not expensive any longer. And, you know, it's, it's good to talk over things with your doctor too. But, you know, we've seen all kinds of stuff. I don't think you can extrapolate anecdotes of health stories to the general public at all. But um, I certainly have heard a lot of very positive stories, and I would encourage people to do what I personally do, which is, you know, go on a program and check to yeah. see what's happening in your own body. Monitor it. And, and granted, a lot of these people also are, um, are doing the body system, the M3 body system. And so there are the gluco blend, and, you know, there are benefits that are coming from the product burn. Um, but but uh, there have also been people that are specifically on this product. So um, the one, one last thing I want to share on this is that um, you remember the, the uh, I think it's called Body Works, um, uh, like museum display that was a kind of a traveling um, display of musculature from cadavers. Right. <laughs> you remember hearing about that? And, and the it, bodies it, that were embalmed and then peeled apart, if I recall correctly. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and so it was it was fascinating because these bodies were demonstrating various movements and 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 everything about the internal organs and the number one and really only thing that was spoken about nutritively through that whole exhibit like on, it went on and on for days the only thing that was mentioned more than one time was the importance of antioxidants it just like it was it just it blew me away and kind of reaffirmed something that I feel like I've known for about two and a half decades that we oxidize we rust we essentially have because of oxidative stress is probably the one of the biggest things that causes us to you know gradually um, uh, die really to just sort of like um, take that downward spiral and so anytime we can offset that oxidative process we're taking power into our hands like you say in the most broad spectrum way that we possibly can and I have to say of any antioxidant that I've ever seen this product is just absolutely phenomenal so um, just well, and I've been studying the research on the Mediterranean diet for all these years and not just in product development but also in you know researching and writing books and and you know, being in this field for Two and a half decades. You know, I, I have to say that that nobody nobody really knows what it is, and it might not be one thing. But you can you know for sure that there are a lot of plant based antioxidants, including these three key ones in that Mediterranean diet. You know that for sure. You also know they're independently studied to show benefits. You also know that you can check on yourself because there's markers you can check on yourself. This is not one of these, you know, kind of faith-based, no science. Focus, you know, focus. This is clinical research supporting it. There's a lot of fiber in the Mediterranean diet. That's known. So, so there's some things that, that, that are, you know, that, that are lifelong habits that, uh, that are, are implied from, you know, as a benefit from these diets of eating enough fiber and getting enough antioxidants from plants in your diet. It sounds pretty common sense. Sometimes it's difficult to do in practice. It's also hard to always get the right concentrations of each one and the right ratios of them. So, so this is something that you know people take all kinds of supplements and do things on on hope. This is something that you can do every day, and it's it's more than hope because it's based on evidence of what's actually in this Mediterranean diet. Scientifically, clinically validated, as you say. So thank you so much. This has been awesome. Thanks, everyone, for joining in this evening. Greg, thank you so much for being with us. We're ever so fortunate to have you a part of what we're doing here at Modair. And thank you for bringing us these brilliant formulas. Good night, everyone.